Hey, what is up guys, it is Silver Sun here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 47. Now I've been hearing nothing but hype about this episode, about this whole Trunks arc pretty much almost everywhere you look. Pretty much there was lots of like new trailers and clips and whatnot and previews, everybody was hyping it up, giving their theories about it and whatnot. But here we are, finally on the episode and basically to start it off pretty much Trunks is running around. Pretty much in this very post-apocalyptic kind of setting. Pretty much everything's like gray and dark. And then pretty much he's just running around. There's key blasts being shot all over the place. Pretty much destroying everything. There's fire everywhere. And Trunks is pretty much just like running through it all. And then basically he ends up in this um laboratory. Basically where Bulma's working on this, um, this serum. This type of liquid to help fuel the time machine so that... Trunks can go back in time, but the thing is is that it's only enough fuel for a one-way trip, so pretty much he can only go back to the past. They're not completely sure how they could get back to the future, but they're pretty much thinking that they'll find a way. And I actually kind of liked the scene. It was kind of sweet, you know, a nice, um, calm kind of scene. But then pretty much the tension starts to build up as, well, they don't really call him Black Goku. They pretty much just call him Black in this episode for the most part. But he does look like Goku nonetheless, but pretty much he... He busts in and pretty much there's lots of explosions happening and pretty much um, Bulma keeps telling Trunks to go to leave and whatnot while pretty much Black has her, you know, by the um, shirt basically and he shoots a blast at her and then pretty much there's this huge explosion and Trunks pretty much watched in horror as pretty much Bulma just died right then and there and it was really crazy to see this happen because, I mean, usually in Dragon Ball death isn't really that big of a deal. I'm sure that maybe they might wish her back. Who knows, possibly. But it was still crazy nonetheless to see one of the main characters die off like that, you know. Especially with Dragon Ball Super because, you know, there's not have, there hasn't really been too much death in, um, in this series so far. Except for like one or two. But that was like very minor and whatnot. But it was crazy nonetheless. Then we pretty much cut back to the present timeline where Goku and Piccolo are pretty much harvesting these little lettuce heads in the garden and pretty much having like this little race this competition on who can get the most and then while that's happening pretty much um Whis and Vegeta are pretty much training on Beerus's planet if anywhere else and pretty much Vegeta can't land a hit on him until Goku shows up and he pretty much like accidentally hits him in the head and pretty much and basically um Beerus steps in and he's like hey you know what are you doing here what happened and whatnot and then pretty much Goku gives him like this little piece of lettuce you know to help you know calm him down pretty much and he says that it's good and then they go on to eat some ramen noodles basically and pretty much Goku's just like sitting there wondering like what'll happen you know during the Omniverse tournament and whatnot like how many you know awesome fighters are gonna be there and pretty much um Whis goes on to explain like what the Omni King did back in the past that had Beerus so like scared and whatnot he can pretty much destroy like anything he wants to in an instant because before they used to be 18 universes but then he destroyed six of them leaving only 12 so yeah it was pretty crazy what he did and how he can do that even though he's not a fighter but we go back to the future where pretty much Trunks meets Mai and pretty much he's wondering like where is Bulma at and then pretty much Trunks is crying about it because you know as I said before she died and whatnot so pretty much Trunks shows her the um the fuel that they need to get into the time machine and go back to the palace pretty much and then but then before they go to um Capsule Corp they pretty much have this little scene where like they're just like huddled up pretty much and there's this cat that runs by because they're pretty much eating um cat food basically and it's really crazy to see this because like you know like it really shows the kind of struggle that they're in right now with the whole like timeline and whatnot and I'm just wondering myself like what happened like i know goku black pretty much came in and probably messed everything up but like how like where did he come from and whatnot and to be perfectly honest i feel like he kind of i don't know i can't really judge him off of this one episode but my but the vibe he kind of gives off at least in my opinion he rem he reminds me of like a mixture of like kid boo and like frieza just because like he seems kind of like really cool and whatnot but then like he like destroys everything and pretty much kind of like Kid Buu. But basically they're just like eating cat food at this point. And pretty much they're um trying to 
find a way to get back to, you know, Capsule Corp without being, you know, blown up by Black. Before they go in, however, pretty much Trunks senses that Black's near, so pretty much he stops and starts to go and try to fight him. And pretty much he's trying to, like, hold him back and whatnot, but then he gets blown back and he loses his sword. And then pretty much Mai comes in and she starts trying to shoot him with her um, shotgun, but obviously it misses. He keeps dodging all the blasts and pretty much he blasts her in this really big explosion. And then she's supposedly dead at this point, but I'll get to that when I get to that. So pretty much he blows her up and then... Trunks is pretty much just like looking at her, you know, she's not moving or anything like that and stuff like that. And then pretty much Black pretty much reveals himself to look like Goku and whatnot by the end. And pretty much he just says, you know, finally, it's the day you draw your last breath, Saiyan. And then the episode ends like that. And then judging from the preview, you know, Trunks actually does make it back to the past. And pretty much he's all messed up and he's pretty much like being taken care of while um, Bulma makes like, I'm sure she's making like another time machine, you know, the regular time machine that we saw like back in Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure she's going to make like some kind of replica replica of that. But pretty much, um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to it. It's just kind of Trunks being back and whatnot. But still, that's going to lead to some um, really cool and interesting scenes, I'm sure, in the next episode. But yeah. But as far as the whole Mai being dead thing, I really can't see that happening because from what I heard, pretty much the voice actor for her was going to be voicing her, you know, all throughout the arc. So I'm pretty sure that maybe sometime in the next episode, um, you know, Trunks is going to make it back to the past and then pretty much when he does, Mai might wake up or something. I'm not sure. Maybe they might use the Dragon Balls, you know, maybe he might tell them about her or something. Who knows? But I don't think she's, like, dead as of now. Maybe she might go back to the past with Trunks somehow or maybe she might be waiting in the future for him because she's in the intro too and whatnot and speaking of that intro we actually got a new one with Goku Black and um this other guy this like he kind of looks like a Supreme Kai but like he has like white hair and like green skin and whatnot I hope he's not a villain I kind of want it to just be you know black as of right now because I wouldn't want there to be like another like main villain you know behind Goku like pretty much like controlling him or whatever. I don't think that'd really be you know too cool in my opinion But tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think that Mai's really dead? What do you think is gonna happen in the next episode? Did you like this episode? Did you think it was a good introduction to this arc and whatnot? I certainly thought it was the atmosphere just Pretty much changed with this one episode mostly, you know all the other episodes were pretty much lighthearted and you know nice and whatnot but here we got like lots of tension this crazy evil new villain coming up and it's just really epic in my opinion but that's pretty much about it for this review guys and until the next one silver sun is out